So I'd already mentioned that one of my favorite features was the red box earlier, but the new feature that I absolutely love is the fact that you can get an app from the Apple Store and via MIDI be able to program the head on an iPad. It gives you total control of, of everything on the head from, you know, reverb, you know, you just tap on it, turn it on, mess with the level, the effects loop, the delay. A cool feature with the delay is you can either do your tap tempo if you want to, where you can sit there and tap it the tempo that you want, or you could tap on the BPM box itself and bring up if the tempo if you know exactly what it is. Enter it in, set. Uh, you have the modulation stuff where you can turn it on, be able to adjust the rate and the intensity, turn it off. Uh, go through all four effects, you know, chorus, flange, phaser, and tremolo. Then you come down here and you have the power amp EQ stuff, the presence, um, the noise gate, which you can turn off and on, um, the, the preamp EQ, treble, bass, mid, the channel, the volume and the gain, be able to adjust that, turn on the boost, go through uh, all four channels, clean, crunch, lead, and ultra. Uh, then you come down, and basically the bottom part is like the, the MIDI controller where you have, uh, you know, your bank where you can bank up and down, and the presets, and then just like the foot switch, you know, A, B, C, and D. And as you can see, I have uh, the song Sadus from Stone Sour Up, the rhythm, my solo sound the clean chorus and the clean tremolo. Um, you can show values, which is a cool feature, which brings up uh, the numbers to let you fine tune each of the uh, knobs. Then there's the global mute, which mutes everything. And then all the way to the right, you have the power soak, which you can adjust. Um, and uh, another thing is you can also name each preset as you can see, right now we have uh, Sadist up. So, you know, the clean tremolo, and then we titled the song so I could keep track of it, you know. And, um, you know, it's a cool feature because if you were playing live and you could, you know, have that in front of you or on the side of the stage if you needed to make last second tweaks or make sure that the switching actually is switched to what you want. Um, we'll get into that, especially if you're playing, if you lock the head in via MIDI for Pro Tools or Logic uh, and let let the, uh, the amp actually switch itself, which we'll get into here in a bit. So one of the cool features um, and probably my favorite feature of the Grand Meister is definitely the app that allows you to uh, to, do, to fine tune and program the head.